Hey guys, it's so nice to be back again. I'm so sorry that it's been such a huge gap between this video and my last one. Things in my life have been so crazy work-wise and I've just been pulling my hair out trying to find time to film. So you'll be happy to know that I will now be back on a regular once a week schedule and think that I'm going to continually upload my videos on a Tuesday. If there is a day of the week that you guys would prefer, maybe a Monday or a Wednesday instead or some day of the week that you think would work best, comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. But today I'm going to do my November favorites. There's so much stuff I want to share with you guys. Uh, so I'm going to try and make this as, not as quick as possible, but I definitely don't want to make it some 30 minute video. So I'm just going to dive right in. The first item for November favorites is actually a book. It is this one by Sophie, Sophie Kinsella. I hope I'm not butchering her name, um, but it's called I've Got Your Number. And it is not only, well, first of all, this author in general is hilarious. She's the one that had done the Confessions of a Shopaholic. Uh, book series and all of her other novels are so so good. I love the shopaholic you know series that she had done but her other books I think are much better and this one is not only really funny but it's got a really cute romance to it as well. Um, it has a lot to do with like texting and cell phones and that kind of thing which is obviously very relevant right now since all of us are on our phones 24-7. Um, but I don't want to spoil what the book is about because I hate when people do that. So I really highly recommend that you guys pick this up. It's such an easy read. I whipped right through it and um, definitely a favorite of mine right now. So definitely check this out. This is my Louis Vuitton iPhone Folio 6. I just recently picked this one up. I think it was two weeks ago. The iPhone Folio uh, for 6 or iPhone 6 uh, Plus is not a new item for Louis Vuitton. However, the inside lining that has different colors uh, such as this fuchsia, they've got red, yellow, and I believe blue is the other interior, uh, is a new product for Louis Vuitton. And I wanted to stop spending so much money on phone cases, which I know, haha, because these aren't cheap. However, I was someone that was notorious for purchasing cell phone cases for my phone, would get bored of it and then purchase something else, which is oftentimes a good 50 bucks a shot. So I just wanted something that I really love, that I know I could stick with and you know, would use regardless of what might be trending in cell phone cases. So I picked this one up because I know uh, Louis Vuitton I'm obsessed with and I knew it was something that once it was on my phone, it would stay there permanently. So I'm happy to have something that I'm, I'm so obsessed with. And because so many people do ask about this case when I pull it out, I am going to do a separate review on this phone case. So that will be up shortly as well. Now the other Louis Vuitton item that I have been using, and I am also going to make a separate video about these, is the Louis Vuitton PM Agenda. Now I don't use this as an agenda, I find it personally far too small. I also have the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the MM and the GM. So I'm going to make a separate video on how I use those three items. But for this one, just for the sake of, because I just started using it this way, I use this as a wallet, which I love. And I just find it so much more convenient to find the items that I'm looking for in my wallet as opposed to a regular wallet. I just find it more organized in here. Um, so although I'm not gonna show you my cards, um, on the one side I've got like my business cards and like other little, you know, um, cards that I get stamped for places I go, like a manicure place, for example. Um, so I throw that and some of my business cards up the top here and I keep um, other business cards in the flat behind. And then my cards cards, you can see like my shoppers often, it's not a big deal. Um, I have credit card slots that I bought from Filofax. This is their personal, or no, sorry, pocket size. And I just put the credit card slips uh, in here and I've got four pages of the wallet slips in there. I find it holds everything really well, keeps everything so organized and I love it for that. So this is again, another, wallet um, or the agenda that I turned wallet but so so love it only just started using it this uh, past month and I'm obsessed with it I love it so much now I only have one fashion item this month and this was actually an item that I purchased while on vacation in September these are sunglasses from Wild Fox which first of all can we talk about their case it's a little heart which is so cute um, but I love these I really wanted something that was navy and picked up these sunglasses here. It's got a bit of the tortoise shell on top. I don't know if you guys will be able to see in the lighting. Really thick side frame, and then of course the sort of cat eye shape to the glasses, but I love these so much. They're just 
I don't know, it's kind of got this like retro fab feel about them. And I love that they're oversized. Any type of glass or sunglasses or even just glasses uh, that are big, the bigger the better for me. I love these so much. So I've been toting these around with me just about everywhere. And I picked these up at Saks Off the Fifth. And Saks Off the Fifth is by far my favorite place to shop, especially when I go away on vacation to Hilton Head Island. The one down there is so amazing. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure what they are regularly priced, but I got them for $60, which I thought was pretty good. This is my holy grail. These are my makeup remover wipes that I started using at the end of the evening. I actually started using these because of Nicole Guerrero. Oh gosh, I'm not butchering her last name. Sorry, girl. Um, but these are amazing. They're a hydrating makeup remover wipe and it doesn't matter how long lasting my foundation is, this takes everything off with basically one swipe and it doesn't leave my skin feeling really dry because I know some of the other makeup removers out or pads out there, uh, they can have a little bit of alcohol in them which can be drying for your skin. So these are beautiful and my skin feels really soft and smooth and after I use these I go on to use my Clarisonic but cannot recommend these enough. You can pick them up in Walmart and a uh, great way to take off your makeup at the end of the day. Love them. I'm so happy I finally made this investment you guys. I got the Venus palette from Lime Crime. Now this was a palette I have been eyeing for quite a long time. I just found that the pictures on their website looked completely lackluster and I don't know, I just sort of felt that all of the colors that were in their palette I already had in other eyeshadow palettes or in eye, like just in pans. So I didn't really think that it was worth the investment. I think online it's about $49 or maybe $45. I don't know for sure. Um, anyway, I'm so glad I invest in this because I do not have any of these colors that were in other you know, makeup palettes. And the inside here, um, just I know they come off, they're just a lot of reds and browns and some coral colors. I'm using this just about every day. I have the eyeshadow on my eyes right now. And uh, I find that it's long lasting. The mill is, like I said, it's so fine that I just find the blendability and the pigment with this eyeshadow is just insane. It's, oh, I can't say enough good things about this palette. It's by far my favorite one. It's what I'm using every single day. This one and the Kat Von D uh, eye shade, or sorry, light shade eye palette. Um, but this by far is one I'm gravitating much more towards because it's just so beautiful. Uh, so for those of you that may have been thinking about it or weren't sure whether it was worth the investment yourself, definitely try and give it a go. If you love a lot of really warm reds and browns, this is definitely worth the investment and I swear to God, you're just going to swoon hardcore when you see this because up close, even on camera, it just doesn't do it justice. Oh my gosh, this palette is beyond beautiful. Now another product I have been loving for, uh, well I guess it's considered an eyeshadow, is this Lee's Watier. This is their Ombre Souffle Supreme in Maggie Blanche. And it's just a white cream eyeshadow, which typically I'm not a huge fan of cream eyeshadows. I find even when they say that they don't crease, they do. However, this stuff is so pigmented, just a little swipe and the payoff is huge. Like you can see that on my ring finger there. And I, haven't actually used it as a full eyeshadow, but I love using it to highlight the inner corners of my eye. I find that it picks up really beautifully and you only need the tiniest bit of this product and it goes a really, really long way. So I can't attest to the fact on whether it creases or not because as I said, I haven't really used it for that uh, currently, but this kills any other inner corner color for eyeshadows that you could possibly find. I've tried just about everything and nothing's really been all that satisfactory and this stuff is just oh, the best. And it came as a recommendation from a friend of mine who had or was currently using it and when we were playing with makeup in her bathroom I just could not get over how incredible this was so definitely check it out. Uh, they are $25 a piece in Canada. Not sure what the state's price is but holy smokes well well worth the investment. Now another item that I have been using, which literally has been my holy grail item for the month so far, is this Wet n Wild lipstick. And this is the most beautiful sort of, it's actually one I'm wearing on my lip right now, but it's just this like moody sort of mauve pink red combo. I don't know, it's sort of like a brick pink. And I am obsessed with it. This one is number 912C in the flesh but it's just such a beautiful color. I find it's a great neutral and I've been using it just about every day as my base lipstick. And the Wet n Wild ones I'm so obsessed with because these are their mega last 
lipsticks and they're two dollars and 84 cents my friends at Walmart so you really can't beat the price but it really does last all day and I find is just as great as some of Max Pro Long Lip Wears or even Makeup Forever's uh, Aqua uh, lip lines that they have. I always gravitate toward these lipsticks. I've been collecting all of their colors slowly, just ones that I find that I'm gravitating towards more. And I use these on clients as well because I find the color payoff is so incredible. And as I said, it just lasts for ages. So definitely, definitely check this out. They're bomb. Now another makeup product that I've been using that I actually just wanted to test out first was this little Too Faced sample. This is their Love Flush Blush in Love Hangover. This came in one of the holiday kits that were available for Too Faced. I have picked up quite a few holiday palettes and goodies at Sephora recently, so I'm going to do a separate video um, with all of those goodies in there. But have been testing out this eye or sorry eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, blush! In the meantime, and it is fantastic. It's the color I'm wearing right now, so it's just a light flushed color, which I like. It's definitely got a warm tone to it, which I think is great for just getting that you know wind blown or wind kissed look or color on your cheeks, sorry, if you just went for like a nice walk or something outside. I love the color that it gives off and the pigment of these blushes is incredibly, incredibly, they're just very pigmented. So I love that a little goes a long way and they're long lasting as well because I find that blush with, you know, most companies, it does tend to fade quite quickly and this does not. So I was happy to try these out. I wanted to give them a go for some of the clients and the blushes that I use with them. And I love that these little holiday ones are so teeny tiny because if you want to bring something with you on the go, this could easily fit into a cosmetic pouch and slip itself into your purse, which is incredible. And you know, you'll be on your way. And I love the size too, because if I want to put this in my makeup kit with my clients, also very compact, which is good because you end up with quite a lot in your travel cases. Now the last two products that I just wanted to share with all of you guys. Now the first one, God, you've probably seen on every YouTuber's channel from, well, since it was released, is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighting Color. This is literally the greatest thing on the planet. I just want to, you know, take all of this color and just buff it all over my face. It's so beautiful. Um, but it really is something that's great for all skin types and skin tones. It's beautifully finely milled. Becca's products are always fantastic. And Jaclyn Hill, when she created this color, nailed it. It's so good. I'm not gonna go in depth on this because most of you have probably seen this to death on just about every video on YouTube uh, right now, but this has been a go-to highlighter. I love it, I'm wearing it today, and use this with clients as well. It's so gorgeous. Definitely just go pick it up. You're not gonna regret it. With that is this brush from Makeup Forever. This is their 156 Wavy uh, brush, and I use this actually as my highlighter brush. I just like the feel of it and I like the precision it gets when I'm applying my highlighter, whether it's on my nose or on here. So I just wanted to share that because Makeup Forever brushes, I've now been trying a few of them and I have been incredibly impressed. They're such a high quality, they're very soft um, and the blendability with all of them is beautiful. So I love, love, love this one. So if any of you are looking for a really great highlighter brush or you could even use this for contouring, uh, 156 Wavy, this is it. It's just the bomb.com. So that is it for my favorites, guys. Short and sweet, or maybe not so short. But anyway, thank you for being with me. Um, I will have another video for you guys next week. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will chat to all of you beautiful people next week. See you later.